Hi everyone, it's Brittany here from Green Bee Flowers in Strathroy, Ontario. It's market day. Well, it's the day before market day. It is my first market day of the season doing this again all by myself. Uh, that means I got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it, but I've decided that this week I'm going to do a couple different recipes for my $20 mixed bouquets. Um, we have a lot of flowers, I don't know if you can see they're just everywhere, that we've harvested uh, over the last couple days in order to get ready for market. I did not schedule myself a wedding for this weekend, which means that all of my energy is kind of devoted to this today. So come watch me make some bouquets. my sunflower bucket of shame. All of these down in here. Basically I'm not going to be growing these next year. I think when we ordered them they were supposed to be um, uh, the pro cuts, probably the reds, and turned out to be a whole bunch of these like awful ones. So these are all going to go to the compost. We are not going to be planting this variety of sunflower again. Also, it, it wouldn't be a flower studio without buckets of dead flowers that I've been procrastinating to throw out. Yeah, we'll get to those. longer to do when it's just me. $20 bouquet for So you can see in here we've got we've got three sunflowers, right? One, two, three. Um, and most of them I try and put them at like different stages of blooming. We have, we have a lot of sunflowers this week. Um, we have a piece of Israel Ruscus, which I get from my wholesaler. Uh, we have snapdragons. These are Ontario grown snapdragons in here. Um, and then we have a piece of hot biscuits amaranth. So like there's six stems in here, but we are charging $20 for that. When you break the math down on flowers, so just to get some flowers from my wholesaler, I would be paying about $1.25 to $1.50 a stem. My markup is 2.5. Uh, we're automatically looking at $3 to $4 a piece for a sunflower in a bouquet. And I'm, I wanted to talk about this a little bit because those of you who follow along on the social media uh, know that Jillian Harris did a giant uh, flower harvest um, and I think reminded all of us in the flower industry why we have to charge what we do. 
Um, so right here, if you're to say three fifty a stem, right? We've got seven dollars uh, ten fifty right here, just just in sunflowers at retail cost because that's what you need to sell to your customers at. A piece of ruscus here is about sixty cents to a dollar, depending on the season uh, per stem, uh, which means that I'm automatically charging two dollars for this minimum. This gets amaranth uh, the off my the truck right now. They're selling this for two dollars a stem. So, $4.50. And then, snapdragons, when they are in season, are usually around $1.20 a stem wholesale, like to buy from the wholesaler, uh, which means right now they're about $8.50. Um, and that means simply that we are going to charge about $3 for those. So if you add that all up, right? So we have about $11, uh, we, 13, 14, um, I can do math, plus three fifty is seventeen fifty. Plus, you have to take into account your time, your wrapping, your sticker, and your elastic band. So the reason I ch and we include tax in that as well, right? So we're we're looking at about you know eighteen dollars retail for this, um, including taxes is twenty bucks. So that's what we sell it for at the market. That is why it's twenty dollars. Uh, it might not be the same for you in the area that you live, which is why if you're a flower farmer, I definitely recommend finding a local wholesaler that other florists in your area uh, purchase from and figure out what your stem cost is going to be on your bouquet from there. It's important to make sure that your time is covered, right? So when you do your, your multiplication on your flower stems, as a florist, the only income that you have is basically the product that you are selling which means your time and all of your other expenses have to be included in the cost of those stems. So we're very strict about our pricing. Try and make sure it's on par. You always want to make sure that you are charging the right amount per stem. Um, if you are charging a dollar a piece for a sunflower, it's too, it's too little. So this for us, this would be a $20 bouquet. So, there you go. Back to making flowers. Okay, so. Our next bouquet here is going to be purples and oranges. So we've got in here some of these really big, lovely marigolds. Um, Ontario grown moms. I just love these. They're so pretty. Uh, we've got Canadian stock here. Uh, my stock, we didn't grow it this year. It didn't do spectacularly well. So I'm just getting it from my wholesaler for now. On the other hand though, out the double click cosmos I love the double click mix more than any of the other ones that we grow and then we have teddy bear sunflower that's just right here starting so that'll bloom for the customer and then of course we've got some local Alstro Miria in there too um, our, our town is lucky we have one of the uh, top exporters of Alstro Miria right here grown in our hometown uh, so I love getting local Elstro to put in my bouquets, especially my market bouquets, because I can go directly to the grower, and I love doing that. So this is a, another one, a little bit more colorful, very pretty. And then here is what it looks like wrapped. Orange. 
Uh, we've done our yellow sunflowers. We've got stuff going on in the purple. Uh, we're gonna choose a bouquet that's a little bit more fall inspired now. Uh, I have asters um, in some different colors, lots of zinnias, um, and I have in stock this week from my wholesaler these really, really gorgeous uh, fall mums, uh, which are also incidentally my favorite color of mums to put in pots on my deck. So we're gonna do these ones next. So each bouquet is going to get two. Mums, you always got to make sure that you're pulling off those ones that didn't make it. We've got some gomfrina that's going to go in here. Some cities. Some of these very cool white asters. We've got a hot biscuits amaranth in there. We've got these really pretty snapdragons. And then I think I've got a bunch of sunflowers still that are branching. So I'll add one of those in as well. Now, my dahlias this week all went out to my flower subscribers. I think we also, we also need some yellow elstro. inspired. So um, my wholesaler was by about half an hour ago and I forgot to turn the camera back on to show you what I've been making. Um, but he brought me flowering kale. So this is something we haven't had good luck with on the farm. Um, it hasn't been a priority actually for me to grow, but I'm glad he's able to get local for me because I mean, look at how pretty this bouquet is. Which also, I might say this, this palette for this bouquet has been um, very popular for weddings this year. But like I just, I just think it's such a cool pop of something in there, especially with the amaranth and the mums. So stunning. This is what it looks like when I get it. So it's a pretty, pretty cool, the light's weird, there we go. It's a pretty cool little nifty thing out of these in October when we start making arrangements in pumpkins. Uh, flowering kale is a really, really cool one because it kind of looks like an artichoke. Uh, we have a local hops grower as well, which I will be getting some hops from that will also be going in our pumpkin arrangements. Um, I, I just It's going to be so earthy and so organic and I'm so excited. <laughs> Dolly playing in the background. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, uh, as I'm filming this, uh, we have hit broke. I don't know what the correct terminology is for it. 300 of you have subscribed to our channel, so thank you. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, this is honestly just something that I kind of started doing for fun. I know that there's a lot of other really talented uh, flower farmers on YouTube. Um, but there's none from the zone that I'm in and I've been really excited this year to meet so many other wonderful flower farmers. When we started growing a couple years ago I don't think that I expected our business to turn into what it is so I'm very thankful that you guys are all here and you have enjoyed following along because 
I don't know. What we're doing is, I think, so different from what a lot of other flower farmers are doing in the sense where we, we live in a town, right? And it makes it, it makes it difficult to farm when you have to travel all the time to um, other locations. Now, that said, we're so grateful because we have built these incredible relationships with people who are allowing us to rent land from them, allowing us to grow on their property, who were, you know, trusting us to go into their homes and use their washrooms. And it's just such a cool, cool community that we've built. So I just want to say thanks because now you guys are all part of the community too. One of our commenters wrote underneath the other day that I have a genuine joy about me. Um, and I want to thank you for that comment because I always try to exude joy, I think, in this business because flowers are really such a point of joy for a lot of people. They brighten spirits because they are so beautiful. So thank you. I hope that this brings you joy too. So it's uh, just after seven o'clock in the morning. Natalie is now gone, they're headed to the market. She's gonna send us some footage so you can see how the booth uh, is set up today. But um, I'm really proud of the bouquets that we did. I hope that they all sell. I think that would be really great. We have not been sending as much to the market even though we have so many flowers just because it's been just me and I'm so tired and so busy and I miss my girls. She can probably really feel in this video this week. Yeah, Joseph's over here. I will do a video sometime talking about Joseph's uh, diagnosis and how that kind of launched us, I think, into flower farming, but that's, that is a very long story. Um, and not something we're gonna do at seven o'clock on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Are you serenading us at the farm? Yeah. That's really beautiful. <laughs> oh, good job.
job, bud. <laughs> I know. So in three years, this is our very first successful Cafe au lait bloom. She's pretty. She's the size of my head. So this week as well, we don't have any of our staff in, so I'm gonna be flying solo most of the, the week. Um, Nick is really only helping when he absolutely has to, which is totally fair. And Joseph is starting JK this week. So we have a lot going on, actually. But as always, thank you so much. I hope that you're enjoying our channel. Um, if you are, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. It means a lot to us. Uh, we're just excited to share our uh, flower farming journey, 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 flower farming journey with you. Thanks, everyone. Bye.